Hello and welcome to another Night Shift. My name is Yazil, and today we want to look for transporting the rotation and uh, position over the network and uh, get uh, the uh, other player to move also. But before we gonna do that, let's have a look at our list, little question we had uh, on the end of the last part for uh, transporting the uh, rest of the data from table player you just add the writers to our writer from darkrift so um, we not only transport player name player race player oh there's an error i see that player race uh, that's player um player how we call that gender player gender <clears throat> and player race and human data you also transport the intelligent the wisdom and so on and uh, close with the magic so after you do that you have to be sure on your player manager we open that there it is you have to be sure in your player manager if you read the the dark roof reader from uh, receive data uh, that you also get these inside so as you notice i didn't made a variable for everything i made a little class that's the first step for our player class um, i called it stats let's see open the stats for a sec it's here so <clears throat> what you have to do is uh, to make a class it also belongs to the namespace player and it's serializable and uh, in that class, we got uh, the ID, the name, uh, the intelligence, the wisdom, deck, strings, luck, and so on. Always at get and set. And then you make a function, uh, which is public stat and the stats, and you um, give them uh, the uh, uh, variables uh, to insert into this class. So uh, you get uh, you put in an int and you set the int from this function to your local ID uh, or uh, not int uh, ID or for example this uh, string name you give the function with you put in uh, equal to the name uh, we defined on top. Also, I made a public stats with a, it's an overload to that function, and it just has no arguments, and it's I set everything to zero. <clears throat> That's an easy going. So define the variables, make function to fill that, and make a default function for just add the stuff. Okay, and then in your player manager. You define a new stats, my stats, it's new stats, and you uh, just do it on uh, this uh, second function. It's an overload, as you see. And you just fill the stats with uh, the dark rift reader. So you just read that out, what you put in there in the uh, player plugin. After that, you call the function uh, on player load okay and you add my stats to that therefore of course you have to manipulate the delegate and uh, namely the event uh, you have to add here after your pluma uh, data the stats my stats and since we call that as you can see here and be on the event here in the player you have to add that on this part 
else you get an error because uh, you don't have everything <coughs> uh, in the function. So I made an uh, variable player stats and it's uh, equal to my stats. The player stats we define here on the public area, public stats, player stats. And now if we want to have anything out of the player, we just uh, call player stats dot intel or dot wisdom or whatever we have there. That was the solving of the little riddle we had on the last time. It's not too bad, too complicated. You should have uh, that in this style or uh, in a kind of uh, uh, same solution. Good. So let's go for the last part of 4.5. Next time we start with the um, player um, controller, but uh, now we just want to transport the stuff between the network. So our player other is moving also when we move our players. For that, we got uh, a new uh, stuff in the Y const. It's, uh, uh, or I called it the move uh, subject and uh, the move tag. I just choose six for that and uh, the position is one and the rotation is two. Uh, also, we don't need uh, don't need a plugin for that uh, because we just go on player and look on the player. We have in the update function a new stuff and we just check if we are connected and if we are connected, we look if our transform.position is uh, not equal to my position. And if that's the case, we just uh, send message to others. So we don't need the server involved, or at least uh, not with a plugin involved. And we send uh, the transform that position. Um, then we just uh, uh, remember my position or the transform position into my position. And we do the same that to our rotation. So we check uh, transform.rotation is not equal to my rotation and send to others uh, my rotation or the transform.my rotation and we cache uh, my rotation uh, is equal to transform rotation. So for that we of course we need uh, variables here and uh, we got here my position and my rotation. Um, since we not uh, we yet uh, get positions out of the database, so we don't know where our player was uh, as we logged out, um, we just set it to a default uh, value over here. New vector, and that's somewhere in the camera screen. So after that, we have to make sure that uh, our player other is receiving the data. So that means we go to player others and we add uh, on start on uh, data detailed, uh, receive data, receive data is the function. And if the application quit, we of course uh, get rid of the uh, event entry. And in the receive data, we know that already uh, we uh, going to check the tag and stuff like that. But there was one different here. We check the sender ID. If the sender ID, because we go on detailed, we get the sender ID also in the function. So we compare the sender ID to the network ID. And the network ID is the ID of these um, class here, of these player others. So only if we got a message from our I call it original player. Um, we, as a copy, are interested in that. So at first we send uh, check sender ID is equal to network ID. If that's the case, we check the tag. If the tag is uh, mo the, a move tag, 
Then we check if it's the position. If it's the position, we transform dot position uh, is equal to uh, vector three data. So this is the vector three then. And if it's uh, uh, the subject is uh, dot rotation, we just say transform rotation is uh, uh, quaternion uh, data. And um, <clears throat> yeah. Let's make sure only uh, the sender, uh, or if we receive data from our original, uh, we move at all. So next is uh, just a um, standard uh, player movement script. Uh, I got it somewhere here, player, player, manager, no, it's just down here, controller. Um, What's the heck? Um, what start? We don't need that. Just delete that. In an update function, we check uh, input dot get axis horizontal is not equal to zero, and or, or input dot get axis vertical uh, is uh, not zero. Then we just tran uh, transform uh, dot translate um, our uh, player. Uh, to a new vector three, and which is uh, zero zero the input axis vertical, and to move it up a little bit, I multiplied it with five, and uh, then smooth it out with time dot delta time. And for the rotation, we just uh, go for an, uh, uh, transform dot rotate to a new vector three, which is uh, zero and the horizontal input, uh, and to make it a little bit faster, I multiplied, multiplied it with two. And the last part, uh, the z axis is zero also. So that means if we put the vertical or the uh, horizontal, uh, we get uh, moved forward, backwards, or we rotate. If you don't know these uh, input get axis stuff, it's under File, no, edit, project settings, input. And here are the axis. Uh, it's in horizontal. You see it's the negative button and the positive button. So it's left and right, or A and D. And on vertical, it's the up and down button uh, as, an, as the arrow keys and S and the W for uh, uh, um, forward and backward. So that should be working. Uh, let's position the camera. Um, since we don't have uh, really a player controller or a camera controller, uh, we go into the start. And in the start, we go in for our player. Yep. Wait a sec for compiling. And we just move the main camera there. And um, uh, I got these values here. So we have a little uh, overview of the character and where he's going. So position to, it's uh, a little bit up and uh, three back uh, through the player. And uh, it looks a little bit down. So. Let's go to login. And if we start that, we log in with 2 2 and log in. A little bit slow here now. There he is, and you can move him, as we saw in the beginning of this video. So check that out. Uh, just um, uh, make a new uh, game.exe, and uh, you can log in with multiple charts.
In the next uh, part of the series, it's part five. Uh, we gonna make a uh, player controller which has movement and uh, and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. So let's quick um, get an overview. So we changed in the player manager that we receive the uh, stats um, <clears throat> out of uh, the Darkwood Reader and we send it the my stats to the uh, on player load OK event. We changed into the event that we also not only deliver player race and stuff like that, also in stats, uh, my stats. And then we made sure that in our player function and uh, it's here on the make player function that we receive the my stats. We made a variable player stats and filled it with my stats. So we now have on our player every stat which was in the database. For that we made a class and the class has a couple of variables and it's always in get and set. And we made a function with fills the class with values. And we made a default function with which fills the uh, class with uh, zero and initialize values. Then we went to our Y const and added an move tag and we added an uh, move subject with the position one and rotation as two value. Then we made sure our player is sending his position and rotation into the network, which is up here. So we made sure we are connected. We check the old position to the new position. If it's not equal, we're going to do that stuff. Also for my rotation, we're going to do that also there. Beforehand, we made two variables which is my position and my rotation. And then we made sure that on the player others, we receive the data. For that, we made sure we are on the on detail um, event and we call the function receive data. In the receive data, we got an the sender ID, byte, tag, and new short subject, and the data itself. And we see if we get the same sender ID than our network ID we stored beforehand. And we look for the tag if it's the move tag. Then we look if the subject is position, then we go and transform position to our data while it's a vector three. And also we check if the tag, uh, subject is a move rotation. If that's the case, we transform that rotation, uh, our quaternion uh, data. So to move our player, we implemented a simple player controller, uh, which we work on the next part. But for this case, it's just uh, move him uh, uh, forward and backward and turn him uh, the player left and right. If you liked my uh, video today, uh, just leave me a like. Uh, if you like it even more, subscribe to my channel um, and uh, so I leave you with playing around with this and happy night shift.